hello guys welcome to this video so in this video i will actually show you a electron desktop application that i developed inside vue.js and handbrake js library which is an encoding library similar to ffmpg it's a great alternative if you don't want to use ffmpg handbrake dash js so this is a library we have used to actually make this awesome little video compressor desktop app inside electron and Vue.js and you can see this is a front end that I coded inside Vue.js the interface of the application if you need to start this application it's very simple you need to install npm run electron dash server this is a command of this project which is mentioned inside package.json we have various scripts out there so we are ex executing the script electron dash server this will actually start the Vue CLI and also it will start the electron application so it is compiling here you can see that so it will start this electron app so it will look something like this so you can see that it runs with these it is built using html css and javascript as you know electron js desktop app so it is native app right here where you can choose your video file from your local file system whichever file that you need to compress let's suppose if i choose this file it is almost if I show you the size of this video almost 43.4 megabytes so if I select this file click on compress it also comes with the, the progress bar as well so here you need to select the output location where you need to save this so I will be saving in this folder I will name it as one so if I just see in the notification area you will see it is encoding the video and it is actually showing this nice little progress bar which is really useful for the user to actually see how much time is remaining so you can also see the time remaining as well right here 1 minute 10 second is estimated time remaining so it also comes with the progress bar as well so once it reaches 100% you will actually get a notification that your video has been successfully compressed and you will be able to play the compressed video so this is a complete project guys if you are a beginner if you want to integrate handbrake js inside your electron app inside vue.js this is a complete project that i'm giving you the link is given in the description of this video you can directly go to my website procodestore.com and purchase this source code the link is given in the description of the video and uh, you will get a zip file after you make the payment from google drive automatically you will be redirected to it once you make the payment you will be redirected to google drive where you will get the zip file you just need to extract the content of the zip file and i will show you how to start this project so once it reaches 100 percent it totally depends upon how much long is your video and what is the size so i'm just showing you the demo right here so once it reaches you will see compression successfully completed if you want to open the file path i will say ok so it will automatically open the file path for me so now i can play my compressed video you can just see the quality of the video hasn't been reduced and still the video size have been reduced if i show you the size of the video which is 5 megabytes so the size was reduced from 43 to 5 so very significant reduction in the size of the video but still if you see the quality of the video it hasn't been decreased the quality remains the same but still the size have been reduced the video size has been reduced and uh, this is a complete application that i've given you guys electron application so the interface of the application is coded inside vue.js if you see this is actually the interface the html code this is actual javascript code and here we have this backend api so this is here we are writing our electron code so this is the inter ipc communication going on right here from electron if you see so we are requiring this handbrake js module right here and we are first of all the user choose the file path and we are showing this open dialog to the user to actually get the input file so we are selecting this mp4 mov wm so these are the expected accepted extensions so then we have this function compress video which is responsible for compressing the video we are actually showing the save dialog to actually save this video at a particular location 
and then we are executing these uh, handbrake function so like this to actually show the progress bar handbrake has a built in function event dot reply to actually show the progress bar so here we are showing the progress bar so this is actually the menu if you see the file menu you can have the about menu we'll see uh, so it's very similar in electron to actually create these it's very simple menu built from template so we have this template right here so this is actually the menu here and then we are adding this to the application so this is a background code here we are here we are creating the window right here by using the browser window providing a width height frame title bar so it's a normal electron stuff and then we are using this element ui so it's coming from this is element ui we are using to actually design the interface of the desktop app and uh, if you're opening it for the very first time you just need to first of all install this by using npm i so this will install all the packages which i mentioned in the package.json file so if you're opening it for the very first time after purchasing it so you just need to execute this command and then you just need to execute npm run electron dash serve so this will start your electron app and uh, it will build this vue.js application first of all and then start your electron app so very simple so it will be a great project for your beginner if you doesn't understand the electron or handbrake JS. it's a great project to actually modify the code as well after you got this so you can see that so video compressor you choose your file whichever video that you need to select let me select this click on compress again you need to select the location where you need to save it then you will actually see this progress bar at this notification area very simple application and for building this we have used handbrake.js package which is a built-in encoding library similar to ffmpg but it's not that popular but still it's a very handy library for working with videos and audio media files so handbrake if you don't know it's a software if you haven't used handbrake it's a handbrake is a open source video transcoder uh, so it's a you can download this inside your machine as well so it's a third party software developed by a company and it offers it api as well to actually similar to ffmpg to actually work with media files in the browser in the desktop so so this is actually the application guys if you are interested the link is given in the description you can directly purchase it from my website procodestore.com i showed you all the code right here uh, so this is the actual code that you will get the so these are different packages we are using it view handbrake js element ui code js axios libraries as well So it totally depends upon the length of the video and uh, how much size is there. So it is just re-encoding the video. That's why it takes some time for the process to complete. So once it completes, it will show you this notification that compression successful. So you can open the video. So you can see the quality remains the same, but significantly the size has been reduced, which is six megabytes. So that's all guys from this video. Thank you very much for watching this and I will be seeing you in the next one.